Time to show you some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Wall Street Journal looks at China. It's on track to overtake the United States this year as the world's number one buyer of Mideast oil. That's creating new tension because the American military secures China's growing shipments from the region. But China is resisting pressure to support American foreign policy in the Mideast. The New York Times takes a look at Edward Snowden this morning. In 2009, the CIA suspected the NSA contractor of trying to break into classified computer files when he worked as a technician. A supervisor wrote in his personal file there was a troubling change in his behavior, but the red flags were ignored. He was hired by the NSA, where he leaked thousands of classified documents this year. And there is a new photo of Edward Snowden this morning, the first we've seen since his stay at the Moscow airport. On Wednesday, he met with whistleblower advocates from the U.S., presented him with an award for integrity and intelligence. The Los Angeles Times says a jury has cleared Toyota in a wrongful death suit. It stemmed from the crash of a Camry in 2009. The car accelerated out of control and killed the driver. The jury found the accident was the fault of the other driver who crashed into the Camry. It caused the victim to accidentally step down on the accelerator. USA Today looks at a rolling protest planned for Washington this weekend. Beginning today, thousands of truckers allied with the Tea Party will slow down traffic on D.C.'s very busy Capitol Beltway. They have a long list of grievances and they want to impeach President Obama. The group will allow only motorists with its Twitter hashtag to pass. New Jersey's Star Ledger says United Airlines is being sued over its frequent flyer program. The suit claims the airline is deceptive in how it lets consumers use miles to book hotel rooms and other services. United says the suit has no merit.